For decades, solar physicists have faced a stubborn puzzle. Why does plasma on the sun cool and fall as solar rain so rapidly after a flare? Existing models predicted long cooling periods, yet observations showed it happening within minutes. A new study has identified the missing element, literally. It turns out the sun's elemental composition shifts dynamically during flare events, accelerating the cooling process and matching what telescopes have been recording for years. This finding doesn't just explain solar rain, it changes how we understand the sun's energy cycles. In this video, we'll explore what was discovered, why it matters, and what's next. Let's get started. Coronal rain is a striking solar phenomenon. After major flares, streams of cooler plasma cascade down from the corona to the lower layers of the sun's atmosphere. The spectacle has been observed in ultraviolet and extreme ultraviolet wavelengths through instruments like Solar Dynamics Observatory. The puzzle was never about what was happening. It was about how fast. Plasma in the corona can exceed a million degrees Celsius. Based on classical models, such plasma should take hours or even days to cool. Instead, telescopes consistently showed condensation forming in minutes. That discrepancy exposed a critical gap in our understanding. Researchers Luke Benavitz and Jeffrey Reap tackled this by rethinking a long-standing assumption in solar modeling, that elemental abundances in the corona stay constant during flare events. Their simulations showed that this assumption was wrong. During flares, elements like iron surge locally, carried upward by flare-driven plasma flows. This matters because iron and other low FIP elements, those with low first ionization potential, play an outsized role in radiative cooling. When their concentration increases, the energy radiated away from the plasma spikes, triggering rapid condensation and rain. When the researchers allowed abundances to vary dynamically in their models, cooling times suddenly matched real observations. The mechanism behind solar rain was no longer a mystery of timing. It was a reflection of changing chemistry in a highly active environment. This is more than a tweak to existing models. It's a structural change in how flare physics is simulated, bringing theoretical predictions in line with decades of high-resolution solar imagery. This breakthrough has far-reaching implications because in solar physics, cooling is a window into heating. We can't directly observe how energy is deposited in the corona during flares. Instead, we analyze how plasma cools afterward to infer the underlying energy release and transport. If the cooling model is wrong, the entire interpretation of flare energetics is skewed. The key process involves how low FIP elements, especially iron, amplify radiative losses. Their enrichment isn't static. It's driven by flare dynamics. When hot plasma rises in chromospheric evaporation, it carries a changing elemental signature. That enrichment enhances cooling rates dramatically, creating the runaway condensation that produces coronal rain. This connects several known physical ideas into one coherent mechanism. FIP effect. Low FIP elements are enriched in the corona relative to the photosphere. Flare-driven flows, eruptions, lift enriched plasma upward. Runaway condensation. High local emissivity accelerates cooling, causing plasma collapse. Previous models assumed fixed abundances, essentially smoothing out this chemical variability. The new dynamic approach captures not only the rapid timing of cooling, but also the observed structure of rain streams. This is a theoretical turning point. Radiative loss functions, central to flare and loop modeling, now need to account for evolving composition, not just static energy and temperature profiles. That's a significant shift because these functions underpin nearly all models of the corona. It also expands our understanding beyond the sun. Many stars exhibit flare-driven rain phenomena. If dynamic elemental abundances shape the cooling process here, they likely do elsewhere too. This finding does more than explain a single phenomenon. It tightens the link between chemistry and energy in stellar atmospheres, bringing models closer to physical reality.
This discovery has both practical and theoretical implications across solar and stellar physics. 1. Rethinking coronal heating models. Many flare and loop models rely on fixed chemical compositions. Incorporating dynamic abundances will alter energy budgets, flare timelines, and how we interpret magnetic reconnection events. It's not just an upgrade, it's a refoundation. 2. Improving space weather. Forecasting accurate modeling of flare cooling improves predictions of coronal mass ejection evolution. Better forecasts mean improved protection for satellites, communication systems, navigation infrastructure, and power grids on Earth. 3. Sharper diagnostics. Spectral diagnostics often assume fixed abundances. Updating these tools to reflect real-time variations will make data from solar missions far more accurate, particularly during flare events. 4. Broader stellar applications. Active stars across the galaxy exhibit similar rain-like post-flare behavior. Applying this new framework can reveal how elemental shifts shape energy release in other stellar systems, shedding light on stellar activity cycles and their impact on surrounding planets. 5. Upcoming observations. New missions and instruments are well positioned to test these models. Solar Orbiter, High Node, and Parker Solar Probe can track abundance changes in real time, while ground-based solar telescopes provide complementary data. This next phase will confirm how abundance dynamics evolve during flares and refine the models even further. 6. A more complete picture of flare aftermath. Faster and more accurate cooling models will improve our understanding of flare decay, loop shrinkage, and plasma drainage. These processes play a major role in shaping the Sun's magnetic environment and, by extension, space weather near Earth. The lesson is clear. Elemental composition isn't a background detail. It's a dynamic, active player in the physics of the Sun. Dynamic elemental abundances have solved a long-standing mystery behind solar rain. This shift in modeling will sharpen flare forecasts and space weather prediction. Even the sun can surprise us with new layers of complexity.